As we gather on Good Friday, we remember the desolation of loss, the pain of losing somebody whom we love, someone who is precious to us, someone who means the world to us. It's made worse for many people in these times because they have to be apart from loved ones. The disciples, the friends of Jesus 2,000 years ago had to be apart from him for fear of being caught by the authorities. Jesus, out of love for all people, followed that path of sacrifice, was caught, convicted and sentenced to death, was hung on a cross with a sign above his head which listed his crime. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. He was crucified alongside two criminals who hurled insults at him, as did the chief priests and the passers-by. And then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? A shout of despair, a shout of giving in. No, it is a shout of triumph and assurance that through the suffering and affliction that he was going through, God would flourish. People would be reconciled and all of humanity may know the sacrificial love of God, which reaches out to all people that we all may know God as our friend, our saviour and our creative parent. The psalm, Psalm 22, of which, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, is the first line follows. 